Hi! Hey everybody, it's me, Ashley, or AMC, um, and I'm back with episode three, <laughs> Trace, three, not mixing them together, of Marry My Husband. If I sound crazy, it's because I got sick and I want to try and at least film the videos before the new episode film and hopefully get them edited because I finally figured out the formula. Anyways, oh, another thing. I've mentioned it on the other two videos, but I got the male leads names mixed up. So <clears throat> I fixed it on my little notes that I look at while I'm like reading so it doesn't happen again. Uh, and I've like every time it, they've said their names or I watch my videos back, I was like, yeah, girl, you, that's not who that is. You said their names wrong. When we last ended episode two, Min Juan and Ji Wan were about to I don't want to say that I don't want to say have sex because she doesn't like him she doesn't want to have sex with him so it would not be mutual it would not be them making love it wouldn't be considered sex it'd be more like grape and it was funny for the ending because of the scream and I know like that kind of takes you out of the moment when she does it but I like how they kind of add these comedic parts to it so stuff like that isn't so heavy um because yeah it happens in real life but sometimes you don't want to see like the nitty gritty aspects of it um so the doorbell rings um for at Jiwon's place somebody's like delivery Jiwon goes to the door and Minwon's like putting all his clothes on because his ass was naked, if you don't remember. Um, but it's this guy. And I swear I see, I'm starting to see this guy everywhere and I appreciate him. Somebody said he looks like the adult version of Shin Chan. And I cannot erase it from my memory anytime I see him. But he's so cute in like his own his own way. But I've seen him in like three dramas recently. Um, I've seen him in. He's currently in uh, the TV show where she turns into a dog. A good day for a good day for a dog. Dog's life or something like that, where she gets kissed and she gets turned into a dog. Um. He was in the one movie where the girl can tell if you're lying just from hearing it. And he was in something else. I can't think of what the other one was. I can't think of what the other show was that I seen him in. But I was like, oh my gosh, he's starting to get popular. I like it because he doesn't have like the traditional features of like the main cast. So I like, uh, it's nice to see him when he like pops up. But uh, he's the one who comes with the chicken and he's like, oh, did you order? And he rattles off all these items and she's like, no. And she looks back at Min Juan and she's like, hey, hey, did you order takeout? He's like, no. He And he rushes up to the door because our Min Juan, I don't, there's a lot wrong with him. But he like, there's a lot, I'll just say there's a lot wrong with him. He rushes to the door and he gets aggressive with this guy for no reason. That's one thing that bothers me with him. He gets aggressive with everybody for no reason. But uh, he was like, no, you got the wrong place. And he tries to like shove him away. So he could like, ugh, I feel gross saying this, but like get back to business. <laughs> but um. 
He's like, no, I just need to check. And he's like, he looked again. He was like, well, it's for free. It's cur- it's a courtesy meal. And uh, Hidman Wan's like, no, get out of here. And he steps outside of the apartment to like yell at the guy. And uh, and he's like, well, let me just check the door. He's like, no, I want you to get your butt out of here right now and uh after he is like basically fully dressed and outside of the door after we uh the delivery guy's like okay sure fine my bad i got the wrong place and leaves (laughs) jiwan pushes him so he's completely out of the way of the door and slams it and puts on all the locks and holds the door (laughs) Because uh, most places in Korea, they have the, you put in the lo- a code for the door. Uh, and um, she's holding it so he can't open. And he was like, I'm not the delivery guy. Let me in. Blah, blah, blah. And she hurries up and texts him. And she's like, I don't feel comfortable doing this. Um, can we do this another time? And after he finally, like, calms down, he was like, okay, fine. You're being mean. How is she being mean? She doesn't want to have sleep with you. She doesn't have to sleep with you. So, uh, as he's walking away, she, when she hears him walking away, she takes his shoes and tosses them and hurries up and closes the door again. And I died. It was so hilarious. I was like, yes, thank God. (sighs) And after we see Minwan like storming out of the apartment building and walking away, we see the barbecue place guy, the guy from the barbecue place, chicken place. Uh, oh wait, that's not a barbecue chicken place, but from the chicken place, the delivery chicken place, he's standing behind a pole beside somebody. It's Ji Hyuk, her boss. He sent him up there to help our girl out. Thank goodness. Uh, also, this guy is one of Ji-hyuk's friends. It seems like he has like two friends. Uh, we don't really know what their names are. They're kind of like background players. But the guy that went to their apartment, he was the one uh, Ji-hyuk called when he was asking about the reunion like the where the reunion is going to be held uh going to be held he was the one that did that investigating for him for that (laughs) and i know i didn't really talk about the personalities of the characters yet but as you you can tell just if you've been watching the drama if you haven't uh jiwan is She's also kind of reserved and shy, but she's a nice, sweet person that a lot of people seem to gravitate towards. Uh, Of course, she always has Suman there, who always seems to be the person to cut off every interaction that somebody would try. Like every bridge somebody would try to build to get to uh, Jiwon to be her friend. It seems like Suman's always there to like torch it or chop it uh, down so it doesn't happen. So she's isolated. Who does that? I know everybody's tired of hearing about it, but it's like one thing I know for sure that they say narcissists do. Not everything and everybody does is narcissist, narcissistic, but that is one quality. Um, so she's, uh, she's the shy person just in general. But she's, you know, she's bubbly. She's sweet. She's nice. Uh, Ji Hyuk, our, uh, our good boy. I should call him a good boy. He's not a dog. But uh, the male lead, he is reserved. Like, he's shy. Uh, he doesn't, I don't say, want to say he's shy. He's uh, just doesn't have, he's a man of few words. And you can tell uh, 
a lot in this this episode and the upcoming episode <laughs> that he doesn't have very much experience in dating and it's kind of endearing and adorable um <clears throat> but we're starting to see like all of these times when he's been there at the perfect time it's because somehow he knows keep that in mind but um remember i don't uh, I don't know if it was the first episode or the second episode. I think it was the second episode I mentioned. I wonder what Ji Hyuk said to that chef that he went to go find. Turns out it was Ji Won's first love and he went to go find him because uh, they tell you what the conversation is about um, to tell him that there's going to be a class reunion. And the first time when he shows up, the guy is like, oh, who are you? Like, what are you doing here? What do you want? And he was like, well, I'm just here to tell. He's like, well, did you go to this high school? And he's like, yeah. He's like, well, there's going to be a high school reunion coming up. And he was like, okay. He was like, well, it might be beneficial for you to go to clear up some misunderstandings. And he's like, um, beneficial for who? And he was like, Jiwon. And the guy's face like lights up. And he's like, oh. And he like conv he convinced him to go to the reunion. So we're like, yes. Uh and uh when Ji Hyuk mentions Jiwon's name, it goes to a flashback to uh, Ji Won, Su Min, and uh, Un, Un Ho back in high school. And Un Ho is upset with her for something. And he tells her he doesn't want to talk to her again. And he like storms away. Uh, and Ji Won just looks at him very confused because she doesn't know what's going on. And then after that scene, it goes back to Ji Won getting a text from Su Min saying, hey, I'm upset with you. You've been ignoring me and you're going to pay the price on Sunday. He wants like, in the uh, previous me would, would have never known that she was actually threatening me when she said that. She was just like, oh, she's going to, we're going to have a hard, or she's just going to make me drink a lot or we're going to be going to all these places that I don't want to go to is basically what she probably would have thought previously but now she knows she really was gonna make her pay the price uh episode two I showed uh snippets of uh Jiwon in a bathroom stall with those earrings that she got from Jiwon and she's like huddled up on the lid of the toilet like crying and upset it cuts to Sunday and you see Suman going into the reunion all happy and giddy and excited. And she goes, before she goes in, she texts Jiwon and she's like, oh my gosh, girl, like, make sure you're not late and dress pretty. And she sends the text, but in her head, she's like, <sighs> she makes the snidest comment. She's like, she can't become pretty overnight, but... As long as I think she's pretty, that's all that matters. How evil. Like, who thinks like that about somebody that you would put in the regards of as a best friend? Like, even a friend in general. <sighs> my face. I think my face twisted up so... Ugh. Like, I was disgusted. And after that, it goes to Suman walking in to the reunion and getting greeted by everybody. They're all loving on her, saying how great she is. And here, here is where we find out how disgusting and manipulative Suman is as a person. Uh, 
she's told three major lies. Well, three major lies. One, she told the main girls that are going to be bullying Jiwon. They bullied her in high school, but they're going to try and bully her again. Uh, that's what caused her to be in the stall. And uh, episode two in that video, or the snippets that I included, she told them she got Jiwon a job at UNK, which is the name of their company. She got Jiwon a job at her company, and she, Suman, is an assistant manager. Two, or lie number two, she told them that Parkman Juan is the person she's interested in and that Jiwon just has is starting to show interest in him. Yeah, she has a crush on him. And then three, the main lie that caused the bullying, uh, it seems, from back when she was in high school, is she told them that uh, Unho, Meg Unho, and her dated. And when Jiwon found out, she told Suman to break up with her. And when Suman broke up with her, it caused her to do terrible on her entrance exams. And that's why she wasn't able to get into a good college. <clears throat> Y'all, the lies. The twisting half-truths. <sighs> well, basic, they're basic lies. But they're, they're, they're lies. She put Jiwon in the place of her and put herself in Jiwon's position. But she's like, uh, while they're there, she's like, but I invited Jiwon. And everybody's like, why? Why are you so nice to her? She's, she always tries to take everything you have. When in truth, Suman's the one who keeps trying to take everything from Jiwon. When I tell y'all, I was shook. And I was so upset. And I'm like, uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. We need this. We need this shit sorted out, like, right now. And basically, like, right after that, right after, um, Suman's like, don't tell, don't, don't mention all this to Jiwon. It'll make her upset. She's gonna get mad. Suman looks at her phone and she sees that Jiwon's calling and she's like, hello. She's like, I'm here. Where are you? She's like, oh, if you don't know where it is, I can come outside and meet you. She's like, no, it's okay. I'm right behind you. And when she turns around, floored, okay, Suman cannot speak for once. Her lying mouth cannot come up with anything to say. She's shook. Everybody at the reunion is. And you don't get to see what uh, Jiwon looks like. You just see her outline. You see her from the back. So you see everything she has on, but you just don't get to see everything from the front. Our girl looks phenomenal. Okay. And I'm like, ah, it's about to go down. So... <laughs> That happens, and then you know it had to cut to something else. It, after that part, it cuts back to uh, right after she got that text from Jiwon saying, uh, or sorry, after Jiwon got that text from Suman saying, "Hey, uh, don't forget about the reunion on Sunday." She gets a text from uh, Hee Yuan, Hee Yuan. Um, her younger colleague, the one that she saved that was in the stall that needed a pad. She texts her and she was like, well, I know you said you had your class reunion on Sunday night. Um, can you, well, Sunday afternoon, can you, do you want to do something Saturday? And Jiwon's like, sure, let's go, let's go hang out. 
while Jiwon's going to go meet uh, Hei Yeon, she sees, uh, she checks on her stocks. They're doing fantastic. A uh, girl, this is the, these are the things that if you go in the past, you don't have to worry about, like money. Like if you're going in the past, you're like, damn. There's like, you hope there's one thing that you can remember that will trigger something. Where if you're going back to fix your rights, fix, make your, right your wrongs. That's one of them. But anywho, uh, she's like, yes, okay, my next paycheck, I'm going to invest that as well. I'm going to invest the whole thing. That's how well she's doing. Like, she don't got to worry. So, uh... She goes past a jewelry store that sells the authentic version of the earrings that Sue Min gave her. And she was like, oh, I have them. She pulls them out and she looks at them. And she sees how terrible these replicas are. Like the most shoddiest knockoffs you can imagine. And you're like, huh cuts to another flashback and in this flashback it's uh jiwan she's sitting on a park bench and she's waiting for suman to show up and uh suman shows up and she tells her oh you wore the outfit i picked out for you you can tell by the way that suman dresses that she is a fashionable girl um she dresses cute why did she have Jiwon in an outfit that basically looked like something a grandma would wear? She had her in this floral dress with these brown socks with these shoes. Socks are fine with dresses, no. Uh, and then this blue cardigan. Like, not a. Cardigans can be fashionable, unfashionable, everything. <sighs> And she's like, oh, great. She's like, I got us something matching uh, berets. And um, she puts it on her herself and styles it correctly. So it looks cute. And then when she pulls out the one for Jiwon to wear, she just like plops it on her head. Doesn't try to style it or anything. And I was like, you're such a shady little cunty girl. I cannot stand you. And then after she puts that ugly. Oh, the beret's not ugly, but after she just puts it on, plops it on her head, she's like, give me some candy. Why don't, if you like this candy so much, why don't you have it for yourself, first of all? And Jiwon's like, oh, I don't, oh, I forgot to pick up more after we finished the last bit of it. Uh, and I don't know if you've seen on YouTube or anywhere. It's the same candy that she throws at uh, uh, Juan He, or Juan He, Min Juan. That she throws at Men Juan when she catches them cheating in her previous life. And the same candy that uh, Su Min was eating while she caught them laying in bed together before she busted in in her previous life. But uh, after Jiwon tell, tells her she doesn't have it, she goes, hmm. Hmm. I hope that sound got picked up. But she has the nerve to pout. Like, girl, if you like the candy so much, buy it You're for yourself. But then uh, Min Juan pops up and he's like, oh, is our, uh, is, did uh, Jiwon upset Su Min again? And she's like, yeah, she forgot my candy. And I'm like, ugh. And he's like, it's okay, pop, and pulls it out because he had it. And she's like, oh, yay. <laughs> like, you know, that cutesy, annoying. That's, that's, picture that when you think of Suman. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> the, 
they she they get excited and they're like okay let's go to our picnic and they're like make sure you grab everything and those two run off f- for G1 to be the one to carry the bags that Suman came with the bags that G1 was carrying before that and the picnic basket for their picnic and the hat uh, the bag hat that their berets came in while these two are just walking, strolling with each other and she's c- trying to catch up with them. And then it fades. It goes back to current time. It goes back to uh, Jiwon looking at the earrings and he wants Caesar and she's like, gah, hey. And uh, she drops them. Or she dropped the fake one that she was looking at because she uh, she was looking at it in the compared to the authentic one, and he wants like, "What are you doing?" And she's like, "Oh, um, Suman gave me these as a gift, and I was checking, and he <laughs> he yawns like, uh, she's like, those are not a very good replica." And Jiwon's like, yeah, I was just checking the sea and I noticed. And uh, Hyun's like showing her ears off because she has, she has the authentic ones. And you're like, y'all, well, I don't know if everybody knows, but most people know if, I think just in general, like things in fashion, it starts, starts off with high-end brands or high fashion and then it just trickles down to us normies (laughs) where you may have the money to buy the authentic like name brand like Givenchy or the one that they mentioned in this drama which it's also a really that's a good brand too Uh, I just know the well-known ones because I don't, I can't afford that stuff. So I look for cute things in my price range. She's like, uh, Jiwon's like, oh, wow, you have the real one. She's like, yeah, I do. She's like, aren't they nice? And Jiwon's like, yeah, they are. And they just go out to eat dinner. And while they're there, he on's like, you want to get some, you want to drink some soju? And she, she says she does want to drink. And he on's like, oh, you do? You said you were going to stop. And uh, Jiwon's trying to remember when would be the last time she mentioned that. And she was, and they show uh, like this blur of a face and you can't tell who it is, but I think it's uh, uh, Jihyuk. I think it's him, but you can't even tell because it's so blurry. You can barely even recognize that it's a face. Um, and it looks like she might have, maybe she might have had a one night stand. I don't know. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with that. As long as it was as consensual and protection is used. But anyways, um, but, um, Jiwon's like, no, I started drinking again when I dated Min Hwan. And he yawns like, the way he yawn looks at her, she's like, he makes you want to drink. Like, he's a problem, isn't he? I knew it. <laughs> it's basically what she, the face that she gives her. Speaking of, favorite character. I love her. Like, Jiwon, yeah, she's, Jiwon's best girl, of course, because she's the main character. But he yawn, I love her. In the webtoon and in the TV show, the girl they got to pick her she's doing a phenomenal job i don't think i've seen anything i haven't i haven't seen many things that she's been in either let me let me look her up what is her name chogi Ch- choi jewelry choi jewelry a jewelry maybe oh she's new she's only she just started doing dramas in 2021 like acting at all while they're eating, 
Jiwon tells Hyeon, she's like, I don't know if I really want to go to my reunion. She's like, I wasn't really popular. I got bullied. And Hyeon's like, really? And Jiwon's like, yeah, I don't even really know why. And Hyeon's like, you don't want to know why? You don't want to find out? She's like, I think the one thing I would be upset about is not finding out why and having to live with that regret. And Jiwon, after hearing that, agrees with her. And she's like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. She's like, I want to live. Um, I want to go to the reunion and find out why. So I don't have to live with any regrets and find out exactly it was that I supposedly did wrong. And after he, after he yawn hears that, she's like, great, let's go. And so they go to a salon and I think it was episode one. I mentioned the fashion is going to get better. This is that episode. Cute outfits everywhere. Okay. Our girl Jiwon looks, gets a glow up. She gets her hair cut. She gets a mani. She gets a petty. And they do a montage of her in all these fabulous outfits. I like all of them. But I really like the um, the blazer with the oversized shoulders with the midriff showing. And the um, pink dress with the little cutout and the straps. I thought those ones were really cute. But anyways, she gets a glow up and she comes out in this black dress and she's looking at herself in the mirror and she just starts to cry. And I teared up when I seen this part because I'm like, she's like finally loving herself, like taking the time to give herself some self-love because in her previous life, it doesn't look like she ever got to do that. It seems like Suman's always been there. And you know, like most people, if you're with your best friend during that time in high school, that's when you guys would like do makeup or nail polish and stuff together. And it looks like even though Suman was really into all of that stuff, she never did anything, any of that stuff with her so-called best friend or even mentioned it to her. Because uh, Jiwon grew up with her dad, she wouldn't know any of that stuff. And you would think with her having a girly girlfriend, she would do some of that stuff with her. Unless she's evil. Okay, because and that we already know Suman is evil. I don't care. <clears throat> she she has shown enough carry uh, characteristics that I'm like I don't, I don't trust that girl as far as I can throw her. But it's so um, but it's so sad, and it's happy. It's happy too because you you see that she feels good about herself, and she. She's like, I've never, I've never seen myself be this beautiful. And it feels good. And he, he, Yang comes in and she's like, oh my God, you look so beautiful. I love it. You're gorgeous. And this, this is the stuff that your best friend would say to you, you know? Like if your best friend comes over to you, like if you're, if you, if you go try clothes on, yes, I want my friend to tell me something looks bad. But if something looks good, I want them to cheer for me like how he yawn did for Jiwon when she's seen her. <clears throat> Again, another example of Suman being a fake friend. When they're shopping, Jiwon sees the pink purse from the first episode um, that Min Hwan bought... Suman when they're trying to leave after they get busted and Jiwon grabs her purse they try and brag, bring her down on the ground when she fell 
and she thinks about buying it and she was like no that's that that purse is meant for somebody else she's like i'm not gonna do that meaning and i think in a way it kind of means she's like i'm not gonna turn into the kind of person that she is zoom in not the purse itself while uh while jiwon's out having fun with he yeon Min Hwan is at a uh, camping, is out camping with his friend that he was at the bowling alley with. And he's like <laughs> doing a terrible job. I guess he's like he's barbecuing um, and his friend's just like chilling on his phone. And he's like he wants trying to brag that. um He's not going to call Jiwon because she's the one who made a mistake. And if he gives her enough time to, uh, if he gives her enough time, she'll think about it and she'll know that she was wrong. <laughs> First of all, what? <laughs> what? What kind of idiotic thinking is that? And then second, right after he says that, we seen that he called her at least 20 times and she rejected every single call. <laughs> uh, but then like a, a campsite over, there's three girls, I think, that are trying to put together a tent because they're going to be camping too. And guess who happily jump skips over there? Min Hwan. His friend shows no interest in those girls at all. But Min Hwan's happy to jump over there and say, oh, you girls need help? I can help you. And trying to flirt. <laughs> Ew. And this just, just continues like, well, we don't know if they're on their second lives or not, but if they are, those two are just terrible all around. Um, and after that, uh, it cuts to Jiwon waking up from a nightmare of her being pushed and uh, passing away from Minwon pushing her again. And when she wakes up, she uh, she looks over at He Yeon because she spent the night. At, she ended up spending the night at her house, and she tells her she like quietly says thank you to her for hanging out with her today and basically treating her like a real friend and doing everything uh, that she did for her. And uh, while she, after right after she does that, she gets a text from her boss um, saying, so I don't know the time for this one, but <clears throat> just drinking. I mean, you can drink. If it, it was still light out when they were out drinking, so if they went out in the afternoon at like noon or so, and they were drinking as they were eating dinner, they could easily have passed out at like seven or eight. But um, she gets a text from crappy boss. I'm gonna stop saying the other word because I don't know if that does something with YouTube. Oh, as well because I was watching somebody else and they were saying oh, let me not cuss because terms and policies on YouTube but anyways uh crappy boss texts Jiwon and tells her we're gonna go forward with your proposal but you're gonna be working with Juron and Suman oh, yeah he put Suman he put Suman on her project Jiwon's like gross I have to work with she's going to be on her on her team and uh in her previous life she gave Suman the proposal and when she did Suman got hired in as an employee and got a promotion she um after right after she gets that text though from uh, crappy boss Suman calls her and asks her what she's been up to and she's like oh I just hung out with Hee Yeon we went out to eat and we were talk we were drinking and she ended up spending the night and Suman's like she's at your apartment and she's like yeah we were drinking and we just kind of passed out because we were talking and having a good time and Suman is visibly upset like jealous 
um, disturbed. <laughs> like, uh, how dare you? How dare you have another friend other than me? Uh, but after she says that, uh, she's like, um, I have, I actually called for a favor and Jiwon's like, yeah, what's up? She's like, so that proposal of yours about the single meal kits, can I take it? Can I use it and like spruce it up? And Jiwon's like, no, if you needed help with a proposal, you should have told me. I wouldn't have fixed this one and then I maybe I would have given it to you she's like but I'll help you with my with my whatever my next idea is I'll try and help you then and Suman's like oh really she's like yeah also while we're at work don't call me by my first name we're not on the same plane because Suman's a contract worker and Jiwan's uh, assistant manager she should be calling her uh, Miss Kang and not by her first name. It's very disrespectful in South Korea to call somebody who is of an upper level um, in a company or, uh, or that you're not, you don't know them personally. If it's a work setting, <clears throat> it's very disrespectful to call that person by their first name. And, uh, and what else did she tell her? Oh, after that, she was just like, okay, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye. And she hung up on her. And Suman is shook. She was like, <sighs> and she's like, just when I put my guard down, she starts, she does, she starts to forget what a loser she is. And they're like, there we go. Finally. You can stop. Well, she probably She's probably acting like this previously, but us as the viewers, we're finally like, yeah, take that mask off, bitch. We know who you are. But Suman was shocked when she, because she's starting to put up her boundaries now and Suman is not liking it at all. And I, I was like, oh, it just felt so good. Like, yes, tell her to leave you alone and to give, put some respect on your name. After, um, after Jiwon gets off the phone with her, she sends her a text saying, hey, don't forget to wear those earrings on Sunday that I got for you. And yeah, this is right after she said she forgets how much of a loser she is. Well, how is she a loser when she got the man you want and she has the job position that you want? Who's the loser? After she sends that text, she walks into a restaurant and goes and she's going to meet crappy boss she was having a meeting with him and they're eating chicken and he's being disgusting again um the previous time they went out to eat he licked his chopsticks before he touched food that he gave to her i don't know if he thought that's considered an indirect kiss because ill but then this time he licks all his fingers mm-hmm every single one of them yes mm -hmm. and then grabs the big ass chicken and tears off a leg and gives it to suman with those same saliva covered phalanges mm -hmm. yes suman is visibly disgusted and you know what that is gross but girl you want to align yourself with this man this is what you're gonna have to put up with <laughs> And you deserve it. <laughs> but anyways, um, she he like talks to her and she's like flirting with him. And he pulls out the proposal and he cross, crosses off Jiwon's name and writes Suman's and puts it in an envelope and gives it to her. But while they're eating, while they're there, she makes sure to tell him that her mom has her on a curfew and she's got to be home at a certain time. The way she says stuff to him. It does, it is kind of leading him on and thinking, making him think that they're going to get somewhere together, like, like get together as a couple because <clears throat> something, uh, because something triggers and he has like a daydream of Suman 
and him in a hospital. She's like in a hospital bed holding a baby and he's looking at the her and the baby lovingly. And it's like, oh, that's so sweet that you want those kind of dreams. But you're a crappy person. It cuts back to the reunion. Yeah, it cuts back to Sunday at the reunion. And it's uh, after Suman and everybody at the reunion is shook. The girl, the bullies, they try to give Suwan a hard, uh, Su, oh my gosh, they try to give, the bullies try to give Juwan a hard time when she goes to sit down, and they're like, oh, you even wore the, you even wore the same earrings as her, and uh, Juwan's like, these? And they, everybody looks at Juwan's earrings, and then they look at Suman's, and they're like, no, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. <laughs> the guy next to her who's sitting in between both of them, he was like, no, Jiwon's, hers are, those look really good. And then he looks at Suman's and he's like, are those knockoffs? Are those fakes? And everybody starts laughing at her and they're like, ah, ha, 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 ha. It's okay if you can't afford the real thing. <laughs> And Suman is so embarrassed. And I'm like, mm. Mm. sweet, sweet revenge. I love it. Come to find out, he Young helped uh, Jiwon get ready for the reunion. She like did her makeup and her hair and helped her pick out her outfit. And as the icing on the cake, she let her use her earrings to wear to the reunion because she did a breakdown where she was like, she accidentally kicked the bag while she's helping uh, Jiwon get ready. And she's like, there's a standard to uh, replicas. She's like, there's S tier, A tier, B. And <laughs> there's D. And D is just like, it's janky. Terrible. And, uh, <clears throat> she was like, you know what kind of, you know who gives this to somebody? Somebody who wants to humiliate someone. And we already know, we already know our girl, he, he on his hip. She's hip to Suman and her being a piece of crap. So she was like, here, use these. And that's how Jiwon ended up with the real ones to make Suman look stupid. Uh, and after that happens, after Suman gets embarrassed, Jiwon's like trying to like hold her smile back. She's like, oh my gosh, finally, I feel vindicated. Uh, she was like, I'm going to go. She's like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And she gets up and goes to the bathroom and she goes to the same stall she went to in her previous timeline. And she waits for the bully girls to come into the bathroom and they do like clockwork but before then guess who took off their knockoff earrings and put them in their purse all upset suman <laughs> because her plot backfired or her plot her uh her little scheme backfired in her face but the other girls go in the bathroom and they're talking shit about jiwon saying oh look at her coming in here thinking she's coming in here to come in here to brag you see that she had all those all new clothes on who does she think she is and the one girl's like well she's still a copycat and tries to steal everything from suman and the one girl's like wait jiwon left from the table where is she? she's got to she has to be in here and the girls are like huh you're right and so they go kicking through all the stalls and then when they get to the one that Jiwon's in she kicks the stall she kicks the door back at them and I'm like mm, yes and their girls are they're taken aback they're like oh, oh, oh it's not fun is it the bullies don't like when you fight back shut that shit down girl it's like yes and she's like, oh, and the girl has the nerve to say, ah, 
what are you doing in here spying on us? And Jiwon's like, I was in here before you. Do I have to come out and say hi to you? <laughs> and I was like, ah, girl, oh, where'd you get this backbone? <laughs> backbone, where'd you get this backbone, girl? I love it. I love it. She goes to wash her hands. And she's like, no, continue on. I'd love to know what I supposedly did to Suman. And the girls, they start rattling off everything. And Jiwon's like, oh, I got her a job at uh, UNK Foods. And she pulls out her business card like, uh, but I'm an assistant manager. And she shows it to them. And they're like, anybody can make a card. Anybody can make fake cards. And she's like, that's fine, too. But I've been there for seven years. And Suman got a position there as a contractor by my recommendation like her referral and the girl's like oh suman did just start working there it's like it's been less than two years now and uh and they're like okay but what about park juan or parkman juan that's her boyfriend and you're trying to steal them <laughs> and she's like huh. parkman juan's my boyfriend and she calls him and he's uh he's on the he's on his camping trip and he's just outside chilling in the chair and he's like oh honey because she was like did you i seen you called me by accident or he's he's she said oh uh he's like honey how are you she's like oh um I seen you tried to call. He's like, oh, no, I just wanted to leave you alone because I know you're having your thing today on Sunday. So I wanted you to have fun. And she's like, say hello to my friends. And they're all like, they're like, hi, I'm Jiwon's friend. All all four of them were like, hi, I'm Jiwon's friend. And the one girl, she was like, are you her boyfriend? And he's like, yeah, yes. I'm Park, uh, Park Min Hwan. I'm uh, her boyfriend. She's like, please, good, take good, please take good care of Jiwon. He was like, I only, I thought her only friend was Suman. He was, he was going to say more, and she hung up on him, uh, <laughs> Jiwon, because I think he was going to say something about he was sorry or something, and she hung up on him. She didn't want to hear anything he has his ass had to say anyway, and she like shoulder checks them out of the bathroom and i'm like oh thank you that was so that felt so good i loved seeing it and she goes back to the table to grab her coat to leave and suman's like do you do you want why are you do you want why are you leaving and she was in uh jiwan walks up to her to confront her about everything and the bullies run up and they're like, uh, stop. You didn't answer everything. What about, uh, Baek Un Ho? Huh? Why did you tell her to break up with him? And she was like, Baek Un Ho? She was like, I had a crush on him. I didn't even know that him and Suman dated. I was like, I don't even think they... They, um, ha like, interacted with each other. She's like, <clears throat> I, she's like, they never dated. And the girl looks at, uh, well, no, Jiwon looks at Suman and she's like, you guys dated? And she's like, oh, huh, 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 yeah, um, it was, it was a secret. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. And everybody else is at, um, around them like, mm -hmm, yeah. Uh-huh. Everybody at the reunion. And she's like, but you just said I told you to break up with him. How could that happen if I didn't even know you were dating? And everybody's like, mm, she right, she right. And she's like, and then the, the girl, the main bully, she was like, ah, see, this is why you didn't have any friends. Look at this. Look at you with your bad anger. If y'all don't stop gaslighting my girl right now, every point she gave you an answer for. Just because you never came to her to get the correct story or to find out what happened first and just started bullying her off of something Suman told you. 
is not my problem. She's like, basically is what she told them. And she said, and I do have a right to be upset. You treated my three years of high school were complete hell because you guys never fact checked. You just believed whatever happened. And the girl's like, well, whatever. Two people said they dated and you said they didn't. So who's telling the truth? And it's like, how is it two people? We never heard the old boy say anything. And right then, Fake Unho shows up and he's like, I know one thing. And he's like, I never dated Suman. And everybody's like, oh, oh crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> But he, he stops paying attention to all of them and looks at Jiwon and he was like, you liked me? And when that happened, all the confidence, machismo, <laughs> I don't want to say it's machismo, but all the confidence that Jiwon had to confront everybody and speak her truth left her body and she took off running. <laughs> she flew she already had her stuff so she just had to find the door and she ran and then it uh it then after that it cuts to um ji hyuk and he's sitting at a he's out i don't know if he's out anywhere but he's eating dinner with who it seems to be is his grandpa speaking of his grandpa in the webtoon the grandpa what looked hot as fuck okay he had a man bun he had a nice little he had a white man bun it wasn't a man bun but he had it in a low pony and he had a nice thick white beard he looked good but anyways <clears throat> this grandpa's not giving the same grandpa vibes but um <laughs> G Hook is basically getting yelled at by his grandpa and he's telling his grandpa, dude, up until this point in my life, I've done everything you said and not complained. When it comes to my love life, I want you to back off. He was like, I love somebody. Or he didn't say I love somebody. He says, I have feelings for someone. And his grandpa's like, well, who is it? Tell me. He And he's like, it's one sided. And his grandpa's like, who the hell would not like my grandson? Who is it? Tell me. He was like, no, I'll handle this part of my life on my own. I don't want any kind of interference. And I was like, mm, yes, yes. <clears throat> this part where it kind of gets into like the K-drama part of it where it's like, oh, here we go again. And I talk about being rich and being a chable. He's a chable in the webtoon too. But they, it doesn't show any kind of pushback from his family about his love life like it seems to be doing in the TV show. And I was like, when he said that, I was like, okay, hopefully that puts an end to it and it's not a reoccurring thing in the uh drama but after he leave after he says that to his grandpa he leaves and he f drives over to the barbecue where they're having the reunion at and he's just like sitting out there waiting and he sees jiwan run out and he's like amazed he's like that's what she wore to the reunion and he's he's I think he's like in awe because he's like she looks gorgeous and then he sees Beck and Ho come out right after her chasing after her and he stops her before she gets away and he's like I have something to tell you and she's like no that's okay she was like I misspoke I never liked you <laughs> <laughs> and he she tries to run off again and he he grabs her wrist again and he's like no I really have to tell you something and he like musters up all his courage and he was like I have a crush on you he like basically screamed it 
in front of everyone. They're outside at a really popular area and everybody just starts clapping. <laughs> That's in the area. And he's mortified. And that, that's where the episode ends. <laughs> uh, this, these, this week's episodes were fantastic. I watched them at least four times. Yeah, I know. I've been sick. Like, what do you want me to do? They were so good. And I found a YouTuber who read the webtoons. Because it's been, I read the webtoons last year around, I think I finished, uh, I finished right, I think I might have finished early because I read ahead. And uh, I think I finished in November, maybe October, uh, when the comic ended. And the that's the only, now I'll be able to remember things that I've forgotten from the webtoon. The thing with the grandpa he wasn't like that in the webtoon. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't become an issue. Because that's like one of the one things that like I don't care for in dramas. It's like, damn, are y'all that power hungry? You got to have your kid marry somebody else from another. I'm like, Ugh. that's too much work, man. But anyways. Oh, the fashion. Ah, oh, yes. Jiwon looked fabulous. The whole, every, even, well, she's, she looks cute. She was cute before, but this glow up, all of her out, outfits were fantastic. He Yeon's outfit when they went out, fantastic. Um, Suman, her outfit for the reunion was cute as well. Uh, and I think that's all as far as the fashion um, for the ladies, the men haven't been really, really given too much. I think that's going to happen next with next week's episodes. We're going to see maybe the men stepping up too, which I'm real happy to see because the guy, the actor, uh, Na In Woo, who's playing Ji Hyuk, I'm like, starting to get a little crush on him i'm like are you trying to are you trying to kick gong Yu off his pedestal i like because you're you're working really hard i don't know if it's because he's playing uh ji hyuk and i loved i was in love with his character in the webtoon and he portrays him very well I don't that's might what it that might be what it is because I haven't seen him in anything else but now from seeing him in this I want to look into some others watch some other stuff that he's done I will include the um link for the youtuber that I watched who reads the webtoons if you're interested in the webtoon and you don't want to read it um but I would I wouldn't I would encourage you to read the webtoon as well because she can't show anything because the uh, webtoon policy, uh, she can only show 50% of the comic. So, you know, she wants to share the content, but she can't share, share the content. Um, but yes, if you've seen episode three, what part was your favorite? My favorite was her kicking in the door, kicking the door out uh, on, the, on them in the bathroom at the reunion her telling um suman no to her using her proposal and uh her getting her makeover those parts those are my favorite parts today or from episode three but Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, please, if you like the video, don't forgive, don't forget to leave it a like, uh, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.